Hey guys, it's Ivy. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be giving you my November and December wrap up, which I know is like extremely late, but um, I figured I would just go ahead and talk about the books anyways. First one I'm going to talk about is Toil and Trouble, 15 Tales of Women and Witchcraft, edited by Jessica Spotswood and Tess Sharp. And I unfortunately did not like this book as much as I wanted to. I don't even remember what I rated it. Maybe like two stars. I'm not sure. Anyways, I thought it was going to be really good and a lot of fun. But I don't know. Anthologies are just really hard for me. And I started it physically. I ended up doing the audio. I didn't really enjoy the audiobook narration. If you like anthologies, I think you will like this one. But this just was not for me. Then I read The Me I Meant to Be by Sophie Jordan and I really liked this book. I think I give it 4 out of 5 stars or like 3.75. If you are a fan of Jenny Han and Maureen Gu, you will definitely love this one. This book is about two friends and their friendship. One of the friends has a breakup with her boyfriend and the boyfriend happens to be the other friend's neighbor and she actually really liked him and it's about her and that guy coming together and having to tell the other girl and the other girl dealing with her problems with her family and school. It's just one of those fun fluffy contemporary books that has a lot of family issues and friendship issues but everything will be resolved. That's why I think it's very much in the same vein as Jenny Han and Maureen Gu so if you like them I highly recommend this one. Next up, I reread A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass, and I obviously gave this one 5 out of 5 stars. I love all things Sarah. I just, I was in a huge reading slump, hence this list being short, hence me not even posting it. So um, I just was like, what do you do in a reading slump? You pick up a favorite. So I picked this one up, audiobook, and I loved it. Next, I read Between Shades of Grey by Rhoda Sepetys, and this book is about a family and they're in the middle of a war and it's sad and heartbreaking. This book is set of her being thrown in a car from her home from Lithuania and en route to Siberia. It's about her trying to survive through all the harsh things that happened throughout a war. And I listened to this on audiobook and I gave it three out of five stars. I read The Green Glass House by Kate Milford and I actually ended up being up in this with like, I don't know, less than 100 pages left. I'm not real sure. But I picked it up physically. Then I was like, I'm just going to listen to this on audiobook. And it's just not for me. Like the chapters were like extremely long and boring and I just couldn't, couldn't get down with it. But if you're interested, it's about this mysterious house on this island that an old burglar used to own and burglars come there and this little boy thinks he's gonna have the holiday of a quiet home and a bunch of people start showing up to stay there and things go missing and the little boy and this other little girl try to solve a mystery. It just was very boring. There wasn't much happening for me so I, I didn't like it as much as I was hoping to unfortunately. The final book that I read was The Falconer and this book is by Elizabeth May and I gave it, did I give it four or five stars? Oh, I think I might have given it five stars. Basically, it's about this girl who can see fairies and she kills them. And she's doing this out of revenge because one of the fairies killed her mother. And like seeing fairy in this world is not common. And she trains with the fairy who is betraying all the other fairies. And it's just crazy good. Super, super fast paced. I loved it definitely recommend. So that is the books that I read in November and December. I did start two other books in December but I didn't finish them till January so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about them in my January wrap up. Um, I'll leave that link down below if you want to check it out and sorry this is coming to you so late. I was in a reading slump. What are you gonna do? All right guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you wanna find me on other social medias, I will leave those linked down below as well. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. Bye.